Hi guys, and welcome to Art by Julie E. I'm Julie E, and today is the Art Lab collab for the Patreon group that Nate Bright Art has. I am lucky enough to be a part of it, and I'm really enjoying it. And we are doing July's Art Lab project. It is to create negative space. Nate wanted us to create some negative space in our painting, at least one third of the painting. And negative space in fluid art to me means a place for the eye to rest. Um, Cause in fluid art, you can get a lot of cells and lacing and just busyness. And sometimes it's nice where there's a spot in the painting for your eye to kind of gravitate to and rest and come back and look at the other details in the painting. So that's what we're gonna try and do today. This is an eight inch round and it is inspired by a geode that I have a picture of here, I'll pop it up. I believe it's called Blue Velvet or Velvet Blue. It is an azurite geode from just down the road from me in Bixby, Bisbee, not Bixby, Bisbee, <laughs> Arizona. It was found there in um, the early 1800s and it makes an appearance here every once in a while at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show. It's one of the largest in the world and I love going there and getting lots of inspiration from all the different um, gem and mineral specimens that they have on display there. So if you ever get a chance to come here and go to it, it's every February and it's a lot of fun. Um, let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Um, yeah, basically that blue azurite color, I'm going to try to attempt to get that as my negative space in the center. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's go through all the colors. Our first color is Parage Posse, Twilight Pearl. Really beautiful there. Next we have just plain old copper by Artist Loft. Next we have TLP's Zeus. And if I haven't told you already, I apologize. My pouring medium is 70% Elmer School Glue and 30% water, shaken to the point of insanity. And then I go with one part paint to two parts pouring medium and the way I mix my pigments, I will post a link down in the description to where you can go see that video. This one, this is my malachite, because azurite has malachite in it, and in some specimens it has malachite in it. And so to try and come up with that color was a little tricky, but I think I achieved a pretty good color combo match. Um, it is this little piggy in sea glass mixed with eye candy, oh boy, it's these names from eye candy, um, Sabafu, Sabafu green, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, but yeah, I mixed those two together to try and achieve this shade, and uh, I think I pulled it off. Okay, up next is TLP tail feather, very pretty shade. Then we have TLP lakeside, another gorgeous pigment. And lastly, for my beautiful azurite center, I have Pearl Ocean Blue by Arteza. I think this will make a gorgeous center for that beautiful velvety blue druzy center. So, all right, let's get pouring.
here it is all dry. As you can see, it dried darker than what it started out as. And I'm just, I'm in love with this. I think it's gorgeous. Um, there's the little malachite. A lot of my copper got lost, but that's okay. Um, I'm thinking I might actually do a resin geode on top of this, you know, and just kind of use this as the base coat for underneath. But I hope you enjoyed this. Please check out all the other artists coming up in the art lab collab i have the playlist down in my description if you haven't clicked on it already and going through the playlist please go to the playlist and uh, check out all the other artists all right loves and hugs y'all bye